Hey guys, Brendan Productions here, and uh, welcome to my fourth Java tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I'll be discussing how to create your own uh, methods and how to implement them, and uh, how to use if statements and compare strings. So this is going to be a very short tutorial, and I'm actually going to start a new project for this because my old tutorial project actually uh, got corrupted. So I'm just going to start a new project. And uh, go ahead and let that go. Okay, so now that the tutorial project is created, we can actually go into its source and create a new class, which is what you would do for everything. And we're just going to name this class Java Tutorial or Tutorial Project. Start that. And um, and then once that's done, we can get programming right away. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that it says public class tutorial project. That is because that is the default class. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be using a scanner in this tutorial in order to compare strings. So the first thing we need to do is import the scanner. And uh, once that's done, we can actually go ahead and get started. Now, as you know, well, before we start the main, we should probably actually declare our scanner. So we're going to say scanner, and we're going to name it input, and uh, this is going to be a new scanner of system.in. This was all discussed in the previous tutorial, tutorial number three, so if you didn't know that, then uh, go ahead and view the tutorial there. We're also going to create a main class now, or a main method. Uh, and this needs to be created with all Java applications, otherwise uh, the application will not run because the ma the thing that it looks for is called the main, and that's what runs. But what's different here is instead of directly typing our code into main, we can actually do something called creating our own method. And we can actually simply call that method in order to keep our main code nice and short. So I'm just going to go ahead and create the method now. So it's going to be syntactically the same as this main here. We're just going to call it public, which means it can be accessed anywhere in this project. And then we're going to say static, which means it cannot be instantialized because we are not dealing with object-oriented programming just yet. And then we're going to type void, which means it does not return anything. And uh, we'll get into non-void methods later. And then we get to name the method. So I'm just going to name the method input test. And then we open and close parentheses, and then open brackets, or open curly brackets. And uh, now we have our very own method. So now what we can do is we can actually type in um, what we want to happen in this method. So what I want to happen is uh, I'm going to get the user's input, and if the input is something, or a certain something, then I'm going to display a message. So the first thing we need to do is actually create a string that holds um, the user's input. So we're going to create a string called message that is equal to um, input, which is our scanner, dot next line. And then we need to open close parentheses and then uh, do the semicolon. And apparently, this throws us an error. Okay, so I, apparently we're just going to press this little button here. And uh, that will actually change the scanner to a static, so I don't think I declared that right before. But that fixed our error. So now we know that the string called message is actually what the user has typed in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say, if the message is hi, then we're going to say hello. So if, a basic if statement has been going on in tutorial 2, if you didn't know. And um, we're going to say message... And uh, with an integer, you would do equals equals, and then the number. However, with a string, it is something totally different. It is dot equals, and then open parenthesis, and then it automatically fills it with arg0. But we're going to type what we want it to be. So, hi, and then close the quotations, and then open some curly brackets to start our if block. So if the message, this string, is hi, then we're going to print a message saying hello 
and um, that will end that. So now we've got our own static void, our own method set up, and uh, we can actually use this to simply get the user's input, and if it's high, we're going to say hello. So where you can actually minimize this method right now, and um, just leave that there to save some space. Now, in order for the method to work, we actually have to tell the main to uh, call that method. And this can simply be done by typing in the method name, and then open close parentheses, and then a semicolon. And once that is done, it will go italicized, and uh, it, it will call the method as soon as the uh, application is started. So let's go ahead and test this out. We're going to run the tutorial project.java. And uh, as we go down to the console here, you can see that it's just blank. And that's because I didn't ask for a question or anything. But I'm going to type hello. And uh, nothing happens because, as you remember, the message that we wanted to uh, type was actually a hi, not hello. So now I'm going to type hi. And uh, we get the message, message back, hello. And uh, there you go. So now that we know everything works, it starts up, it calls this method, and uh, this method compares the mes message variable in order to see what it is, and then replies back using a simple system.out. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope this helped you out a little bit. Uh, I'm really getting in depth with this Java thing simply because I've grown to like the language a little more than basic just because uh, you can do more things with it. But in either case, thanks for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.